Idaho Transportation Department employees returned from their holiday break only to be sent back home. More than 200 employees at ITD's main building off of State Street are now working remotely. This after ITD reported a failed HVAC system leaked water damaging all three floors of the building. What a mess. Andrew Bartline spoke with ITD today and a local HVAC specialist. So what do we know about this damage? What's next? Yeah, ITD says there have been crews here since yesterday. I've seen them walking in and out throughout the day a little bit as well, assessing the damage. They say it's still too early to know how much this damage is going to cost. It's also too early really to have a timeline for when people can get back in this building and get back to work. It's currently closed right now, so ITD says they're going to focus on what they can control in the meantime, and that's making some changes so they can keep offering their services. Marlene Hassenjäger likes to stay on top of it, so she wasted no time heading to ITD for a handicapped parking permit. Here I am, a little bit of a surprise. The doors are locked, caution tape is crossed, the building is closed. It doesn't say why or where else there is to go. ITD says an old HVAC unit cracked over the holiday weekend. The unit leaked water, damaging all three floors. ITD senior public information officer Aubrey Spence says it's too early to tell what the final damage to the building will cost or a timeline for when the damage will be repaired. We have restoration crews and professionals on site today. We also had them yesterday, Monday on site and they're working around the clock to work on estimates. Let us know what we're dealing with. Michael Murphy Sweet at Capital City Heating and Cooling says most HVAC units run a 10 to 15 year lifespan. This is about par for the course. And ITD's maintenance crew estimates their system was from the 1960s. Several pipes that leaked and failed. We believe the colder weather could contribute to it. It's not out of the norm. The copper actually thins as the water's traveling through it over years and time. In the meantime, ITD is focused on providing their services for people like Marlene. I just wanted to get it done today. Spence says 20% of staff will remain working in person. They have been relocated to another building on campus to provide that in-person service and help Marlene get her permit. So I'll just get that done right now and be done with it. So when Marlene showed up, she saw this main building where she's used to going. So this is where they're moved. It's just down the way. It's really close. Be patient with me, Carolyn, working alone here today. Uh, but if you look down this way, see that uh, red structure? That's where uh, the new facility is, or I guess where people can go for their temporary services right now here through ITD if you would like to go the in-person route. So it's really easy. It might be two football fields away. ITD tells me there's a sign down at that building letting people know that's the area. They're going to have signs at these main doors that kind of direct people foot traffic wise. You could also drive there if you want to um, so they know where to be going if they show up here and maybe aren't in the loop. So, so with, those signs should be up shortly directing people to the right place. Awesome. I am really glad you showed us though. I mean for everybody at home that got to see that too Andrew especially <laughs> uh, when that woman that you visited with did not see any signage at the time, but there are signs now, and I'm sure they're gonna work hard to get that cleaned up. Andrew, thank you for your report.